Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Allie again, and we are gonna be doing another workout in the HIT series that I've been doing. So I posted an upper body HIT video, and a lower body HIT video, and a straight up cardio HIT video. So today, it's only right that we do a full body HIT workout. So it's gonna be the same type of uh, way that I was doing the lower body and the upper body where we have that three and a half minute warm up, where we have five sets of exercises that are gonna increase the heart rate, that we're gonna run through 20 seconds each exercise two times, and then we move into our actual workout, which is going to be 10 super sets of exercises. The first one is a cardio-based exercise, so that's gonna drive up the heart rate, and I have Allie here who is going to show and demonstrate the high intensity variations of the cardio. So if you want to take it up a notch today, you'll follow along with Allie. And then of course, as always, there's low impact variations to each exercise that I will be demonstrating. So we do that for 30 seconds and then we move into a strengthening piece, which is going to be one minute. So that equals a total of a minute and a half of work and then we repeat it two times. So sometimes there will be exercises where we do on the right side, we do on the left side. So that's why we do it two times and also because we like repetition. Repetition, muscle memory, and really getting strong. So everything that we do also for the strengthening piece, a lot of it is going to be upper body and lower body at the same time. So it's a lot of compound movement, so it's a little brain training too. So it's going to be a lot of fun and that of course when you're moving your upper body and lower body at the same time, that's what's really going to burn fat, boost your metabolism, and get you those results that you want. So this is going to be a highly, highly effective but sustainable workout, so that's my motto here, and no muscle will be left behind. So with that said, I think I've gotten everything in. Do you have anything to add or should we just get started? Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So let's just do a super quick warm up, just listening out the low back. And then I'm going to show you guys, did you hear my back crack? Yeah. <laughs> it felt so good. I always get my back to crack in this one. And then I'm going to show you guys those five exercises that we're going to start with, and then we'll get right into it. So let's just inhale, take a big stretch out. Grab your left, left wrist side, bend over to the right side. Inhale, come all the way back up. Grab your right wrist side, bend over to the left. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands all the way back behind you. Clasp the hands together, draw your knuckles up, lift your chest all the way up, big deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, fold all the way forwards. Maybe you lift your arms all the way up. Just letting your head drop, move a little bit side to side. And then release the hands all the way down. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra, roll your body up making sure your head is the last thing to come up, and we're gonna move into that cardio piece. So, 20 seconds each exercise. First one, 20 seconds, squat, heel lift, squat, heel lift. So cardio, we go nice and fast. Right after that 20 seconds is done, we go into a squat, clap, squat, clap, squat, clap. Once that 20 seconds is done, we're gonna go into a little side to side. So same arm and leg moves. And then right after that, 20 seconds of punching, 20 seconds uppercut. So for that uppercut, it's kind of like you're really trying to flex your biceps as you punch up. All right, so when we go through that, there's gonna be no breaks in between those exercises. So don't worry if you screw up the first time, it's kind of like our learning curve, the first set. By the second set, we'll be able to get it down. All right, so remember, squat to heel lift is the first 20 seconds. We're getting into our first round of the warm up in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. What do we need to remember in a squat alley? Keep that core engaged, back nice and straight. Keep the weight in your heels as much as you can on your way down. That's right, and we got five seconds before we go into that squat clap. And go, up. We gotta try to get her clap down. Soon. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing a really gentle clap. I'm like aggressively clapping right now. 10 seconds left to go. Do a nice small clap. <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Side to side. 
So stretching the side body as you reach the arm out. After this, get a little boxing action in there as we punch and uppercut. In five, four, three, two, and one. Punch it out. Keeping a little bend in the knees. Core is still engaged. Try to keep no movement in the hips. So you don't want to be swaying side to side as you punch. In five seconds, we're going to an uppercut. Three, two, and one. Kind of looks silly. I think you feel uh, every time I'm going to punch, it's like... You're literally punching air right now. I'm punching like myself. <laughs> yeah, like you want to punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. 20 seconds off. We run through it one more time, and then the warm-up's over, and then we get into the real deal. So, take 10 seconds to step it out. Get ready, because that second set is coming your way. In five, four, three, two, and go. Squat, heel lift. Squat, heel lift. Maybe this time, now that you know the movements, you're able to take it a little bit quicker. Remember to keep that core engaged. Always taking care of that lower back. Yeah. Squat clap. Do my golf clap back here. I'm like, woo! <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a real clap. We gotta make it fun. I mean, this is a full total body hit. We gotta do something exciting here. All right, side to side. If I have a little one, watch this video because I look so silly during that squat class. I cannot wait to rewatch it now. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Punch. I always think uppercuts look so silly. Yeah, they feel silly too. Ten seconds left to go. Then we finish it out with that silly uppercut. Are your wrists clicking? It's my elbow. Oh. Three, two, and one. Uppercut. Really try to flex those biceps as you keep moving. Ten seconds left to go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right. So. We're moving into the workout. I'm already kind of sweating just from the warm up. Um, so like I said, 30 second cardio piece, one minute toning. So the first set is one of those where we're doing right and then left. So for the cardio variation, there is a high impact version that Ali will show you. The low impact version would be just a tap, kick, tap, Okay, so if you're following the low impact variation, you're only going to stay on your right side. The high intensity variation would be switch kicks. Oh wait, three. Yeah, so three kicks, and then stepping back with that same leg that's kicking. So again, first one's always a learning curve, but you can choose who to follow along with. And then we grab our weights, and we go lunge shoulder press, keeping on the right side. So lunge, step up, lunge, step up. Full minute, then the second step, we go on to the left side. And for the shoulder press, keeping the arms level with the shoulders? Yeah, if you have any shoulder injuries, you can take the elbows in slightly. That lessens the intensity. So, ready to go. 30 seconds, cardio of your choice, switch kicks or just kicks in three, two, and go. So remember, if you're kicking, you're switching legs each time. If you're following along with me, we're just staying on the right side. 15 more seconds to go. So we're halfway through. Starting to lose my balance a little bit. I got the kids left here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab your weights. One full minute lunge shoulder press. 
We go in three, two, and go. So as you step back, the arms come up, step up, arms come down. Now I'm trying to be in sync with you now too. There we go. Making sure that front knee does not come past your toes. Nice big bend in the right knee as you sink down. But if you have any pain or knee injuries, reduce the intensity, reduce the range of motion. We're already more than halfway through. Remember to keep your core engaged, always keeping that back safe. Keep the weight in your front heel. Yeah, don't grip in the toes. Five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one. Good. Nice. Drop the weights down. 20 seconds off. Step it out. And then we're going to go back into 30 seconds of cardio. Your choice. Allie chose high in the pack today. She got such kick again. That's right. <laughs> so remember, if you're following me, we're just moving with the left leg now. So, here we go. Get ready, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, and go. This is not much better. <laughs> trying to establish direction and face. Face towards me, so you can see my face. I'm trying to kick you away. <laughs> yeah. That's right, by the end of this workout, everyone will wanna be facing me to kick me. <laughs> Only on the first set. And I'm dripping already. <laughs> Same, dude. You all need to jump to get a good workout. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Pick up those weights. Left side, lunging, shoulder press. In three, two, and go. I did my left side first, so. I'm on my right. Or I'm stepping back with my left. I was gonna say, that's what I did too. I was so confused, I'm like, but you're moving with your left. I don't know, I'm just, I, left and right, still haven't got them down yet. <laughs> I'm the worst of that too, it's kind of embarrassing. Everyone's like, uh, you mean your left foot, right? Yeah, yeah, just always do the opposite of what I say. <laughs> Make sure you keep that knee behind your foot. Step far enough back that you give yourself the room to do that. And I just noticed too, I was trying to go a little bit fast Go slow and controlled. Yeah, I'm taking really make sure time. that your form is correct. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. One out of ten is done. <laughs> That's right. That was only one. <laughs> so next set of exercises. This one. There's only a low impact variation, so there's no high impact. So 30 seconds of lateral step dumbbell swing. So you start with your legs together, open out, squat down, pass the weight to the other hand, step up to the other side, squat and pass. So again, this is cardio. So you want to move nice and quick and swift, get the heart rate up. Then we're just Holding the weight with the right hand, we're gonna go, and again, this is one you really have to take slow because you will lose your balance if you don't. We're coming into a front row, so kind of like a little punch. Then keep the arm in, elbow in towards your rib cage. Right leg comes all the way back into a single leg deadlift. Once you're there, roll the weight up, come all the way back up, front row. Again, it'll make more sense as we go along. So one minute, excuse me, 30 seconds cardio, and then one minute right side, 30 seconds cardio, one minute left side. Are we ready? Hell yeah, we are. All right, let's do it. Go, 30 seconds on the clock. You know, someone, I'm gonna embarrass myself now, someone once taught me a way to do a um, kettlebell swing where you throw the weight up and then catch it with your other hand. So if you want to try to be fancy and do that, you can do that too. <laughs> I just came up with that on the fly, <laughs> but it's kind of fun. Good. 
Feels like you're juggling. I'm not Three, me. two, and one. All right, so here we go. Keeping the weight now in the right hand. Three, two, and one. Roll it out in front of you. Now, left leg is stabilizing leg. Right leg comes back behind you. Row with the right arm. Keep it up. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Step back up. Row it out. So again, we're not going for how many you can do here. It's not cardio. Don't go fast. Focus on your alignment. Focus on feeling every movement. Don't worry about how many can I get in in this one minute. That's not the goal of the strengthening piece. You want to engage every muscle to keep yourself balanced. That's right. And this is also, I know you've been talking about the core. This is one where you really, really need to engage your core or you will lose your balance. Like I just did. <laughs> 10 more seconds to go. It's also helpful to choose a spot on the floor and use that to ground yourself. Yeah. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So Ooh. take 20 seconds. Step it out. Left butt cheek should definitely be feeling some sensations. So, some sensations. Some sensations, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, in five seconds, we're going to go again. So, if you want to do that juggling kettlebell swing, you can follow me. If you want to do uh, a lateral step, follow her. Like I said, I just came up with that one on the fly, but it's kind of fun. Like I said, we can't take everything so seriously. So, let's have some fun. Let's get into the second side. In three, Two and go. Oh, I just messed it up. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of a toss over here. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. You don't want it to land on your foot. It would be interesting. Uh, yeah, you don't want you don't want to see me <laughs> drop a weight off my foot on camera. That wouldn't be pretty. Five seconds left to go. Three, two. And one. All right, let's get ourselves set up on the left side now. We go in three, two, and go. Punch it out. Now left leg comes back, row, and come all the way up. So now this should be kind of like routine for you. The second that it gets easy and you're able to do it second nature, we move into the other exercise. So that's why I said it's kind of like brain training. You constantly have to stay engaged. Not just your muscles, but your mind. The mind is the muscle. That's right. We're working out the brain and the body. Mind-body exercise, that's the best kind. That's rich coming from me who can't count. <laughs> I'm the one that always messes up the count. So that's why I like timed workouts. I don't have to count how many reps we're doing. 10 seconds left to go. I never learned the lane in swimming. Just lose count on that for me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Just like that, we got two down. So, moving on to the next set of exercises. Now, this is one that there is a high impact variation. Oh, and it's a fun, intense one. So, Allie's going to be doing 30 seconds of butt kickers, traditional butt kickers. So, just running in place and kicking your butt. Kick your tushy. Oh, I'm going to take this necklace off for this. And if you want to do the low impact variation, you're like, hell no, I'm not jumping today. Follow me. <laughs> Squat, kick your butt. Squat, kick your butt. Squat, kick your butt. It's very simple. All right, so that's the 30 seconds of cardio. And then we grab our weights. One minute of strengthening. This is one that there's no right or left. We're just repeating this two times. So, you're going to curl the weights in, squat your tushy down, in your squat, raise the arms up, and then finish the hammer curl on the way up. So, choose your weight wisely there. We're doing that, boom, we're doing that two times. So, all right, let's just do it. I want to see you do some butt kickers. Here we go, in three, two, and one. <laughs> this is another one where you're not going to want to watch yourself later. Yeah. Everyone who watched me, but I'm not going to watch me. <laughs> I hope everyone watches you. I want this video to go viral. I used to do this every morning. 
in Japan before I did like my little warm workout and I swear my neighbor hated me. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're in an apartment doing this, an upstairs apartment, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your weight. It was my revenge though because he would smoke with the windows open. Ugh. All right, squat, curl, press. Let's do it. This is one where it's super important that you keep your core engaged because now not only are you squatting, you also need to support those weights going up over your head. Oh yeah, it's very easy to start arching the low back when you're doing that overhead press. And if this is too intense for you guys, you can always complete the press standing up if it's too intense to uh, do that press in your squat or lower the weights down. The general rule of thumb, if you need to modify, is that you either reduce the intensity or you reduce the range of motion. Or. 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 Or both. Or both, yeah. Sometimes you need to do both. <laughs> 10 Ooh. seconds left to go, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take a 20 second recovery period. I'm going to move on. Cool. I think around this video, you'll see me put my arms up over my head. It's really good to keep your chest open for recovery. You don't want to fold in on yourself like this. Keep breath flowing. Keep yeah. energy flowing. Yeah. That's, that's how you know that you used to be an athlete. That's such like an athlete. You yeah, know what you to do. Yeah. All right. Let's go back into it. We go in three, two, and go. I always say too, like, working out is the one time you really want to be anal about your posture because we spend our whole day slumped over, reaching our head forwards to text on our phones. So working out should be the one time where we're really not closing out our heart, closing out our chest. Mm. That in and of itself is a workout too. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Five, four, three, two, and one, pick up the weight. I'm sizing down to three, I'm reducing my intensity. <laughs> three, two, and go. I knew my limit from the start, I was like, uh-uh, it's gonna be three, two, and <laughs> yeah. go. It's good to put your limits though, it's better to start heavy and drop down if you oh, need yeah. to. Even if during the middle of the set you need to lower down, it happens. There's no shame. No shame in anyone's game today. We're already more than halfway through. Keep that core engaged. Don't let it get lazy. No laziness today. You I'm didn't only as I move. You didn't press play to be lazy, right? That's true. I'm assuming so. You clicked the wrong video if that's the case. Or they're just working out more carries in their life. That's not how it works. Five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one. All right, round three is done. So the next set of exercises is one where you're gonna be holding onto weights the whole time. We're gonna be working the chest muscles and the inner thigh muscles in our cardio circuit. And there's no high impact version of that. So you can follow along with both of us. And then when we move into that strengthening piece, right side, left side exercise. So the first exercise, I'm gonna be working the right leg, second exercise, left leg. So the way it's going to look is that cardio piece is gonna be a chest fly with side lunges. So opening out to one side, closing as you move to the other, okay? So that's your cardio. And then we move into a curtsy lunge with a pull-in. So you're gonna keep your arms open out to the side. You're gonna curtsy lunge back and then open the arms out to the side, tap your right toes out to the side. So it's curtsy back, pull in, open the arms out, tap the foot out. So right side, first set, left side, second set, curtsy lunge, uh, excuse me, side lunge, chest fly, cardio. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Let's get it done. Just follow along, I swear it'll be fine. Yeah, just follow so along as you see us. It'll all make sense. <laughs> so here we go in three, two, and begin. 
I still gotta watch you doing it, so. Ooh, my inner thigh just cracked a little bit. That felt good. It's nice too because after the curtsy lunges, when we go into the second set of our side lunges, it's gonna stretch out your hips. So that'll feel nice. You get a little reprieve while still keeping your heart rate up. Just five seconds left to go. And we move into curtsies. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring it all the way back in. So step back with your right foot, arms in. Open the arms out to the side, tap your toes back. So really try to cross the right toes back behind your left. What do we need to remember in a curtsy lunge? I, know, I always push remembering keeping that core nice and tight. It's so important, even when you're not doing core exercises, the core is always working. My forearms are feeling this one. My biceps, my biceps are on fire right now. Whew. It's leaving us speechless. I got these twiggy little forearms. <laughs> 10 seconds left to go. You can do anything for 10 seconds. That's right, you can. But my butt cheek is like, no, you can't. <laughs> my forearms are like, you need to, you need to drop that weight too. Three, two, and one. Nice. Oof. All right. I gotta shake my arms out. Ooh. Look, I'm getting that pump. Yes, I got that pump too. <laughs> you always know it's such a weird sensation. Like, you look at your veins, you're like, am I working hard? What are you doing out there? Dude, look at it. Ooh. Sexy. All right, so we're gonna stretch it out a little bit with another round of side lunges, and then work the right butt cheek because we're gonna be moving the left leg. So pick up those weights. I'm ready. Right. These side lunges. I'm actually gonna drop the weight because I want to take care of my shoulders because I feel a little clicking in there. I have bad yeah. shoulders from swimming. Um, Reduce the intensity. Yeah. All right. So here we go in three. Two, and go. It's always important to take care of your body first. Plus, this is just the cardio circuit anyway, so we're really just focused on getting the heart rate up right here. Yeah, whenever I do shoulder exercises, I always have to take care and move a bit slower. So in order to get my heart rate up, I gotta set those weights down. It's always good to listen to your body. Five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one. All right, so now moving with the left side. Here we go, in three, two, and go. Are we extending on the stand? Or is uh, I'm sorry, no, we're extending on the stand. <laughs> sure. See, this is why I need you around. You correct me. I'm always watching. That's right. Unless I screw up left and right, then you're useless. Or with counting. I can only get you for counting half the time. Yeah, it's bad. But hey, if you do extra reps, there's nothing wrong with that. That's true. You just won't know it. <laughs> uh, some people call me out on it. I'd rather be called out on doing extra reps than not enough reps. That's right. Ten seconds left to go, everybody. Right there, and this evil circuit is done. Five, four, three, Two and one. Nice. Ugh. Felt that in my body. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to disrobe, man. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> disrobe. AKA you're gonna strip. <laughs> strip for the camera. All right. So, next one is another one that, um, that, uh, you're not gonna be using it right for. <laughs> I was gonna say there's no <laughs> modification for it. Yes, that's what I meant to say. I was like, wait, what the heck was I saying? There's no modification for this one. Thank you. This is why I said I need you around. So, um, you can use the weights if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, so it's gonna be a standing raise crunch. Very simple, just crunching the knee in. So again, you can use weights. If you use weights, use very light weights because we're moving the arms fast, all right? And then we're gonna take our weights and we're gonna be doing another one that is right left. So we're gonna be doing a lateral raise with one arm and a 
leg lift with the other. So I'm going to start with moving my right leg and my left arm. So it's a, a lateral lift with your left arm, a lateral lift with your right leg, and the weight is resting on your foot or your leg rather so that you have that extra resistance. All right, so I'm not going to use weights for my standing raise. So again, right leg crunches, right leg lifts. 30 seconds, one minute. I feel like I could have started with that. It would have saved a lot of time. <laughs> but I like to talk. All right, three, two, and go. So always keep a little bend in the left knee. Then you're going to work the quads too. Get that little added bonus. A nice light tap of your right foot back so you're not stumping. You're also working the core here. You like that. We love the core with that. We love the core. We're gonna get a lot of core later on. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Pick up your weights. So, right leg moves, left arm moves. You're going for the fives too. Yeah. Ambitious. Three, two, and go. So it's kind of like a little bit of an awkward movement at first, but you'll get used to it. Nice pointed toes. Just bringing the left arm out to your shoulder height. I'm back here trying to take care of my shoulders. So even though I'm using a heavier weight, I'm moving a bit slower to control that weight, not letting it swing around so I don't rip my shoulder out of its socket. You know what I find sometimes that's also very good? <laughs> I find like when I go straight from cardio to strengthening, sometimes I'm like, all right, all right, I gotta move fast, I gotta move fast. So you gotta train your mind like, no, no, this is the part where we're strengthening. There's no need to go fast. 10 seconds left to go. It's about alignment, it's about form, it's not about rep count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the knees down. I felt that was my left booty. Oh it's yeah, the stabilizing leg. leg. You definitely feel it. I'm like all upper body. I filmed my yoga for upper body strengthening yesterday. So I'm like, yep, that was effective. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving now with the left leg. Standing raises, left leg moves, left leg lifts. 30 seconds, one minute. On the clock, in three, two, and go. So you have the chance to really drive your knee forward when you're doing this. Like you're needing somebody in the face. You're needing us in the face right now. Take advantage. <laughs> yeah, really force that breath out. Put your strength into the breath, into the movement. So that breath is firing in the belly. So you're puffing the belly out as you three, two, one. Grab your weights. Right butt cheeks already feel it from that. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Left leg moves. Right arm lifts. Three, two, and go. Remember we're moving into strength now. So take your time with the exercises. Focus on engaging your muscles and controlling the weight. Enjoy the slow pace after that cardio exercise. When you're doing that T-raise with your arm, don't let your hand come up above your shoulder. See, I'm the opposite. I'm like, am I even getting it up to shoulder height? <laughs> am I even there? <laughs> I don't even bother getting all the way up because I don't want to risk it. Yeah, especially the heavier you use, the more careful you have to be. You got 15 seconds left to go. Woo! That standing leg is feeling it. Oh my goodness, yeah. Five, four, three, two, and release. Nice. All right. We are officially halfway through the workout. Woo! But if you consider the warm up, technically we're more than halfway through. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going. This is another one where there's no modification and you can use weights or you don't have to use weights. So cardio circuit, very simply, you're just stepping the legs back as you move your arms straight back. Like I said, you want to use weights, you want to use weights, make sure they're light. Then we move into strengthening piece, which is very simply, you're going to come into a deadlift. Once you're in that deadlift, row the arms and then come 
all the way back up. Take it into a front raise, just up to shoulder height, right back down into your deadlift. So it's going to be another one where there's no switching right or left. Same thing each time. We repeat it two times. Ready, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm sweating. I am drenched. I always know like, if I feel like I need to blow my nose, it work out. <laughs> so let's go in three, two, and one. That's how I know the Robin's did. <laughs> Allie and I were talking about adding a hit class when we're able to open up again because mm. we've been really enjoying these tiny workouts. Or rather, I have. I thought you were going to say, you've really been enjoying a lot of ramen. <laughs> I definitely enjoy ramen, too. I've been enjoying it too much. <laughs> so nice day to go to PJ yesterday. Five, four, three, two, and one. Mm -hmm. Right, wait. All right, for this deadlift that we're about to do, make sure to keep a flat back the whole oh, yeah. time. It's so, so, so important. Let's go into it. To keep your core engaged. Clench your legs as you're doing this. To keep your legs doing the work. And squeeze your butt cheeks together. It's all about back of the legs and hinging from the hips so that you can tap the low back. So oh. you don't want to be using... I'm used to doing front rolls. I just automatically... You know, I actually don't like doing upright rows. They're not safe for your shoulders. I much prefer doing front raises. I find it's not as stable as a, a front raise. I start to feel it in my rotator cuff. So I'm keeping a little bend in my knees too. Especially if you lack flexibility in the backs of your legs, you can take a little bit deeper of a bend. Especially, I do. I only do RDLs for the most part, so I never really deadlift with straight legs. Yeah. Anymore. Three, two, and one. Finish up. One more front raise. Finish up. Gotta get through the set. <laughs> All right. So take twenty seconds off, and then we're gonna move right back into those step backs. That was nice. That let my heart rate <laughs> slightly come down a little bit. Yeah. That was a nice. That was more of a nice set. <laughs> I think I'm going to be, actually, no, the next set after this is kind of nice, too, so we're being nice to you. We're coming out. We're on the downswing. We right? are on the downswing. The first five are always the hardest. Then we start to work our way down. So, anyway, let's go back into that cardio. In three, two, and go. So keep a nice big bend in those knees. Again, work in the quads. Also feel kind of silly doing this one, right? I'm used to doing this sort of thing. Yeah, it tricep. would seem more natural to do like a tricep motion. But you can't move this quick then. Right. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. You're like my finally feet, walking back. I was just gonna say my feet are so sweaty. It's like click, 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 click. Grab the weights. Deadlift, row, front raise, go. Ooh, it Yeah, I'll do the high impact 
for a peek a doodle all the time. I was just triggered. <laughs> so here we go. Um, but we're not doing a burp yet, so don't worry. Yeah, don't think about it yet. We're doing, if you want to follow me, low impact, punching plie. So you're punching on the way down, punching on the way up. High impact version. So staying down with the punches, we're gonna do one, one, two on each side. Yeah, two on each side, and then four little hops. Four, one, two, three. It's gonna be fun. Yep. And then we move into, you're gonna stay in a sumo squat. You can bring the heels slightly closer in. You don't wanna be all the way turned out for the sumo squat. So you're gonna come down into your sumo squat and then straight the legs, come up into like a deadlift and then bicep curl. So then right back down into your sumo squat, dig through the heels, flat back, rise all the way up, curl. Might not seem like much, but tomorrow you're gonna wake up with a sore touch. Woo! All right, so here we go, punching plies or hopping punching plies. We go in three, two, and go. So I'm punching fast, but I'm kind of moving slow on the way up and down. I found I'm only doing two jumps. I feel like that's a bit more appropriate. Yeah, two jumps works. Whatever you want. I'm just happy I'm not hopping. I gotta get through this 30 seconds somehow. That's right. You got five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one. Pick Woo! up your weights. So, slightly less close together than a plie but you're still slightly turned out. So here we go. We sink down, dig through the heels, straighten the legs, rise all the way up, bicep curl. Still keeping a little bend in mud. I'm yeah. Just, I'm escaping. Yeah, no, that's okay. You don't want to hyperextend in the hamstrings either. Yeah, my knees can hyperextend really easily, so I'd rather have a little bend in them than have them locked up. Oh yeah. Especially because I have the weight. It's not a lot of weight, but it's more than my body's used to. Mm -hmm. Still enough to strain the low back and the knees. Do that so core engaged. Back. Core check. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with your local core check. That's right. That's what you come on here for. Make sure everyone's core is engaged. My favorite reminder. Five seconds left to go. That's my favorite reminder. You only have five seconds left to go. <laughs> and release. Nice. I kind of noticed there that I started rounding my back a little bit. Don't do that. <laughs> That's why that core check yeah. is so important. That core check is so important because I noticed I started getting distracted. I started rounding my back. So don't do that. But what we are going to do is those crunching three. Another set. <laughs> Another set. Another one. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Three, two, and go. See, hip workouts go much bigger when I have you with me. <laughs> They're much more boring when I'm just doing them myself. I need I needed my alley to get through a full body hit. Upper body, lower body, all in its own, I can handle by myself. Full body, mm -mm. Let me know if you're working out with a friend at home. Actually, I know you're not working out with a friend at home right now because the coronavirus, so never mind. Maybe you are, but you're just six feet apart. That's right. Maybe, Maybe they're outside looking through the and window. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a nice day. All right, grab the weights. We're just being silly. All right, sumo squat, deadlift, three, two, go. It's the only way I get through these workouts joke my way through it. You know what? You gotta do what you gotta do to get through it. And once you're almost at the end, like we are, <laughs> you gotta start to make light of it. <laughs> or else you'll go crazy. It's this, it's nothing, it's nothing. My legs aren't shaking right now. We're almost at the part where we're going down to the ground now. <laughs> we're almost <laughs> done with the standing portion. Core engaged. <laughs> That's your daily reminder. Or your set lead reminder. Every set. Imagine you did it every rep. Core engaged. <laughs> you know what? People will have their core engaged. That's right. Worst case, you'll sound like a broken record, but no one will get hurt. Five seconds left to go. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right. I think I said nice at the end of every single set. Nice. Step. All right, so here's where we gotta get through that burpee. So, I'll do the high impact variation. 
jump, 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 jump. Low impact variation, you're just lifting your heels and stepping back. All right, so. Can I demonstrate that really quick? So yeah, demonstrate. So up on your heels, go down, step back, step back up, and then up on your heels. It's much nicer. And I'm not even adding the push up in there. If you guys want to add a push up in the burpee, feel free to. I'm not. I like since I'm doing low impact. Yeah, so you, you mix, mix and choose. And then I almost forgot to explain to you what the strengthening piece is. So then after that, we're gonna stay down in a plank. So like I said, we're coming down to the ground, switching, doing little um, oblique taps in a plank. So now we're starting to work on the core, all right? So something nice and low down to the ground. Why don't we start uh, there? I'll start here. Yep, yeah, smells good. All right, so 30 seconds, and then a full one minute staying in those planks, knee, knee crunching. It's gonna be intense. So here we go. In three, two, and go. So you can take it faster than I am. I just like to take my things even when they're cardio slower. Especially standing up and getting back down. That's the part that you can hurt your back in. And you can get dizzy too if you're not careful. My forte. Five seconds left to go, and then we're just staying in the plank. Well, Three, we to push up. two, and one. There's always next set. Here we go. So we're just going right into it. No break. No break, Allie. You got confused. I was thinking about not doing a push up. There's always a second set for that. So for this exercise, you really want to try not to be moving around so much. You want to try to stay as still as possible as you're moving that leg around. Make sure you keep your tushy down too. So it's less of a downward facing dog, more of a plank. Keep that tailbone tucked under, that'll help you keep that position. This is a really long minute, good grief. Yeah, we still have 20 seconds left to go. You have to take it a little slower, I think. Yeah, remember, this is the strengthening piece, not the cardio piece. So there's no rush, 10 seconds left. The plank for a minute is hard enough on its own, so that's yeah. as far as you can Once get. Add movement. All right, let's take it back to a child's pose. Or just sit on your, oh, freaking cracked as I sat back. Same. Wherever you need to be for this 20 second break, take it. Knowing that you have a full minute and a half next to go. For this plank though too, I feel like just holding a plank for a minute in and of itself is really difficult. So if that's where you are, there's no shame in just holding that plank. Now also if you want to modify, which I should have mentioned this before, but especially the second set if you're tired, you can also stay at a tabletop and do taps from there. So kind of just uh, alternate which knee you're doing and tap your uh, same elbow. So you can always take that variation too. So there's lots of different ways. Hold a plank or drop down and crunch. All right, so <laughs> we're almost there guys. I don't wanna do more burpees, but we must. <laughs> Three, two, and go. Don't forget your push up. This is my daily push up reminder for you, Allie. Thank you, because I already forgot the push up. See, that's why you keep me around. Take a push Gotta always watch and protect your shoulder joints. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. So if at any time, yeah. as you're crunching, you just wanna hold your plank, you can hold your plank. But time starts now. I just wanted to hold my plank while I talked. <laughs> and I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. Just here we go. We'll chill. Move my leg down. I think I might just have to hold this plank, my dude. <laughs> oh man. Again, can always drop down to the knees. So, still working the obliques here, and then that way you're still moving, or just keep with Allie and hold your plank. Those push-ups got my arms, man. Woo! Spicy. 20 seconds left. You can do anything for 20 seconds. I don't know, my arms are telling me no. 
You gotta tell them yes. Tell them yes. Play through it. Eight seconds. Don't let yourself collapse in on yourself. Five. Right? Push through those shoulders. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Holy crap. I think that one deserves a high five. Oh. Just wait till the last circuit when we do forearm things. Oh man. Time to know. Let's um. <laughs> Let's just stretch the wrist really quick after that, and then we're gonna flip over onto our back. So, come down to your hands and knees, and just bring the fingertips to face it towards you. I'm doing one in the opposite direction. Yeah, whatever feels good. All right, and then when you're satisfied, we're gonna move into the second to last set of exercises. Hallelujah. So, um, so, there's also two ways to do this. If you can do a full sit up, you're going to do a full sit up. If you can't do a full sit up, you'll do a crunch. But what you're going to do is either sit up or crunch and then four punches. So, two on each side. Drop back down. Come up. Allie's going to keep her legs out straight. She finds it easier to do that. Mm -hmm. For me, I find it easier to bend your knees. It's really just personal preference. I think the further you pull them in, the more difficult it's going to be to do that sit up. Oh yeah, if they're all the way in here, then yeah, forget about it. I just like to keep a slight bang. So that's our cardio piece, so we're getting the heart rate up there. Then we're going to take it down. We're going to do a skull pressure. So you're going to bend the weights in towards your face, extend the arms out, lift up into a bridge, sink your hips back down, back into a skull crusher. So we do sit up crunches. Grab the weights, skull crusher bridge. This one's not so bad. And what do we have to remember? We gotta engage our core the whole time, of course. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna remind us in this 30 seconds. Let's see. I'm gonna purposely <laughs> not. Three, so can remind two, ourselves. and go. We always have to get our inner alley when we're working out. Just imagine like Allie's sitting next to you whenever you're working out. Telling you to engage your core. <laughs> I'll be like an angel on your shoulder. That's right. But then you don't want the devil on your shoulder. Just the alley. Although, they're one and the same. same. I was just about to say same. that. Five seconds left to go, and then we pick up our weights. Three, two, and one. Pick up those weights. Get ready to skull crusher and bridge. In three, two, and go. So keep the weights up towards the sky when you lift the hips up. And also, I like to imagine like I'm squeezing a block in between my thighs. So my inner thighs stay nice and engaged and my knees are spilling out to the side. Weight is nicely back in the heels, not gripping in the toes. My toes aren't even on the mat. Yeah, I like to kind of pick my toes up too. So I really get the tushy. A little bit of a nice massage between the shoulder blades. Yeah. All right, we got 15 seconds left to go, everybody. Remember, this is your strength portion, so control that motion. Yeah. Squeeze the glutes. Ooh, thank you. I need that. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Place those weights down. Take a quick break since we're lying on our back. We don't need a full 20 seconds, mm. although Allie's soaking up every minute of it. All right, we're going to go again with those sit-up punches or crunches if you need to. In five, four, three, two, and It's hard to talk and do ab exercises, yeah, really. don't you think? I do think. <laughs> Feel that squeeze. Ooh. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Oh, they started getting not so nice towards the end there, but that's okay. All right, <laughs> bridge with skull pressure in three, two, and go. Really lifting those hips up. Squeeze and control your glutes 
on the way down and up. I almost actually almost hit myself in the face with my weights. So that's why we call them skull crushers. Yeah, if you're a little nervous of hitting your face, keep your arms a bit wider. So you're not, obviously not like wide, wide, yeah. but still above your face. But when you come down, not directly above your face. And if you feel like you're super out of control with it, reduce the intensity, drop the weight down. Not on your face though. Yeah, try to avoid that. That would be that would be a smart thing to do. Clench that booty. Clench. Ten seconds left to go. Ooh, now I'm really starting to feel in the backs of my arms. Yes. Today's forearm day. I guess. Keep going. There. It's good to strengthen that area too. My little twiggy forearms gotta match my bicep. Three, two, and one. Drop it all the way down. All right, guys. Last the only thing that separates you from being done with this workout is three minutes of plank work. We can do anything for three minutes, right? Mm, I don't know about that, we'll see. But don't worry, there's lots of modifications here that's gonna help you get through it. So our cardio circuit, not really cardio, but we are moving. We're gonna come into a side plank. So we're gonna start on our right side. Now, to modify, you can come into your side plank, crossing your top leg over your bottom, and you're going to be crunching your elbow in towards your chest, so doing like a side crunch. The high impact version that Allie will be doing is both your knee and your elbow are connecting together, okay? So 30 seconds of that, wherever you are, and then right after that 30 seconds, no break in between, we're shifting it into a one minute forearm plank. Really press back through the heels, draw your belly in and up. If you need to take a break, drop down onto the tops of your thighs, but keep the core engaged. Now I sound like you. I think I'm gonna do, for the high impact version, I'm actually gonna modify it a bit. So I'm gonna be on my side completely and then crunch up. Keep my hand in front so I don't rely on it. Just because I'm not sure how my shoulders are gonna respond. Yeah. To stay in a blank that long. All right, so I guess I'm doing the high impact version. I mean, you can do the modification. I wanted to luck out and get out of that one. I might do half and half. Do half and half. I might do half and half. half. So, let's see how I feel. And you guys can always drop down and do that because that's a version. That's why I like to have you here too because I wouldn't have a problem with that. So here we go. Side plank crunches. Thirty seconds, starting on the right side. In three, two, and go. Just make sure if you are on the floor version, you're not using that bottom hand to push yourself up and do that crunch. It's not doing anything that way. And you really want to think not using your hip when you're crunching the knee up, but you want to think side body. So it's kind of like a mental thing too. Mm -hmm. and you're not sinking your weight down into the elbow. Five, four, three, two, and one, flip it right around, no break. One full minute starts now. The, uh, the reason why I thought of the floor one is because that's one of the parts of the surf have exercise. Because ah. we do that exercise, but instead of in a side plank, it's on the floor. I like that, that's a good variation. How do we get through this one minute quicker? Let's tell them the story. Um, you got any of the stories? A 30 second story. <laughs> 30, seconds. 30 seconds, no pressure. Uh, one time when I was going to bed in Japan, I was about to turn the lights off and I looked to my side and there was a frog sitting there. Oh. In my apartment. I don't know how it got in. I was on the second floor <laughs> and the windows were closed. But a frog was in my apartment. I like that story. <laughs> the end. And how you came up with it on the fly. <laughs> And just like that, now that we heard that frog story, we only have five seconds left to go. Look at that. Three, two, and one. Drop it all the way down. Maybe that should be our niche. Workout story time. Workout story time. I gotta think of my 30 second story now, because it's my turn next. <laughs> the good news is, guys, minute and a half left of work. That's it. Whew. So let's do it. I'm gonna get it done. Don't you? Me too. All right, let's do it. Then I can just say I did it. And then we can say we got our workout done for today. Three, two, and go. 
All right, is it my turn for a story? I think we gotta do it during the one minute plank. Yeah, but we're quiet now too. All right, well, if you know, if you have a story, let's have it. I actually don't, I didn't think of my story yet. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's too quiet. I should really come up with a story now. I'm trying to think, did I do anything exciting this weekend? No. Well, let's flip around into our plank now. It's plank time. <clears throat> All right, what's your story? You're not oh, to another. I'm under pressure now. Um, one time, <laughs> <laughs> one time, when I was on a cruise, we saw this woman, and I tricked my mom into uh, thinking that she was the person that did the voice of Mrs. Puff. <laughs> And she believed it the whole time. I was like, Mom, oh my gosh. Don't you know this is the voice actress, the one that played Mrs. Puff? <laughs> Don't ask me how he came up with that. It's so random. But that was that crew story. And just like that, man, I only have 10 seconds. Oh, to I'm ready to come down. Yeah. Got you. I felt so much longer. Five, four, three, two, and drop down. That's because my story sucks compared to yours. No, it's so funny. I know that. Because you probably weren't expecting that. No. Like, like when she said, come up with a story, why is the first thing that comes to my mind? Mrs. Puff. I mean, the Mrs. Puff story. Mine was a Ferrari. Yeah. Apartment. I don't know. I got a better prepare next time. <laughs> Let's shift it all the way into a sphinx uh, pose to stretch out the abdominals and the low back. Oh, oh my gosh. Most satisfying thing funny. ever is when you start to stretch after a nice workout oh my God, yes. and press into your palms, lift your chest up. Oh. Now come all the way back down onto your belly. Let's just flip over onto our backs. Stretch more on our backs now. Here. Taking your right knee towards your chest. Oh. Grab underneath the thigh, stretch your leg up towards the ceiling. Points and flex your foot. Walk your hands up the leg, draw your forehead up towards the knee. And then hug your knee in towards your chest. Take it across the body into a spinal twist. Maybe you'll get your back to crack. Really try to press your right shoulder blade down into the ground. And then bring your knee all the way back in towards your chest. Squeeze your forehead up towards the knee. And then switch to hug your left knee in towards your chest. Extend your right leg out. Grab underneath the left thigh. Stretch your left leg up towards the ceiling. Points and flex your foot. Big stretch in the back of the leg. Walk your hands up the leg. Draw your forehead up towards the knee. And then hug your left knee in towards the chest. Take it across the body into a spinal twist. This is always my side that cracks. Let's see. Oh, oh, there it goes. goes. Your leg, bumping into your leg messed me up though. Stop wiggling your toes on me. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze your knee back in towards the chest. Squeeze your forehead up towards the knee. Let's bring both knees in towards our chest. Rock ourselves all the way up into a wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna finish out with a stretch. Take your right hand down on your right leg. Lift your left arm all the way up. I haven't got to do butterfly before this happens, so <laughs> I'm gonna be back here freestyling. All right, she's freestyling back there. Left arm comes all the way to the side, right arm up. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold all the way down. Just rock it out a little bit side to side. Just letting your breath come back to its natural rhythm. I'm getting sweat all over the floor in front of me. Slide your hands all the way back towards your body. I mean, smear marks with my hands. That's also when you know it's a good workout when I get those smear marks on the floor. All right, anyway, that felt like a really long hour, <laughs> but that was a really great workout. Um, let me know if you have any more recommendations of workouts that you guys want, um, any live streams that you want, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for working out with us. It was a pleasure to have you. <laughs>